the latest on June 16th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. Day 167 of the year, Cyclone Value is still the only feature active in the world today this June 16th. We're still at 27 storms so far this year. The average per year is 91. In the Atlantic it's day 16 of hurricane season and no cyclones are active at this time and none are expected in the near term. Same story in the Eastern Pacific where it's day 33, still on track for being the quietest start to a year since 1964. The Indian Ocean features Vayu which is now almost halfway between India and Oman but it is expected to recurve back. In the Southern Hemisphere no systems active but a tropical cyclone could form near the Solomon Islands later this week. Cyclone Vayu has winds of 70 miles per hour and a pressure of 976 millibars according to our latest estimates 302 miles from Karachi, Pakistan, 20.8 north, 65.2 east. The models take it towards the northeast slowly at first but then accelerating towards the coast of India and a likely landfall somewhere near the border between India and Pakistan as a weak tropical storm and then moving inland as a remnant low over central India and possibly even towards the eastern part of the country. Right now high wind shear is dominating the cyclone up to near 40 knots which is almost as strong as the storm itself. Um, and that number will begin to decrease if it turns towards the north now, if there's anything left of it by then because if it does stay in that position for too long it may well get completely sheared to death still holding its own at this time though the North Atlantic looks like this uh, Saharan dust dominating the eastern tropical Atlantic further towards the west uh, a few thunderstorms bubbling up near Cuba uh, and over southern Florida, but really nothing of note in terms of a tropical nature for potential tropical cyclone development. Very quiet at this time. The Gulf of Mexico also looking fairly quiet. A few thunderstorms uh, over the Yucatan Peninsula, but really not a huge amount and certainly nothing unexpected. The Eastern Pacific, if you've been watching for a while, you may start to notice some uh, tropical um, bubblings going on there, some convection, uh, and it's starting to move a little bit further north, uh, and that could deliver some new tropical cyclones in about a week or two, but not just yet. The Western Pacific looks like this, uh, very quiet over here right now, completely. Uh, very difficult to see where a potential system might come from, but the GFS is predicting a new tropical cyclone in the next seven days in the Philippine Sea. In the Australian and South Pacific region, we are seeing what could possibly be a precursor system uh, just north of the Solomon Islands there. And in the Indian Ocean, uh, clearly Cyclone Vayu is still dominating there. Uh, and in the, in the Bay of Bengal also, a little disturbance there as well, which some models were keen about at some point in the past. Sea surface temperatures look like this, around 30 degrees in the East and East Pacific, which is where uh, any early developments might form over there. In the Atlantic, very warm around the Greater Antilles to southern Florida. The open ocean of the Atlantic is warming up slowly but surely, but the eastern part is way too cool for tropical cyclone development. In the Arabian Sea, still you can just about make out that cool pool following in the footsteps of value, but really the sea surface temperatures haven't taken that much of a hit, around 29 or 30 degrees Celsius. South China Sea, where there was a little disturbance that I failed to mention before, 30 degrees plus, and in the Philippine Sea, around 30 degrees as well. Cyclone Vayu looks like this on satellite imagery right now. It was keeping its eye together just about for a little while, uh, but in the last few frames it would appear that that eye has completely capitulated. Um, we'll wait to see whether it will try again once more with that eye feature, but at the minute it's lost hurricane status and is down to 70 miles an hour and probably will continue to decline. The next name in the Atlantic is Barry. In the Eastern Pacific, Alvin is still yet to be used so far. In the Central Pacific, Akoni is the next name on the list. In the Western Pacific, Sepat is a name that we've been waiting for for several months now, and in the North Indian Ocean, Hika is the next name. 
You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page, search Force 13 if you're not there already, please subscribe if you haven't so far, and you can also find our social media platforms, Facebook and Twitter, search Force 13 all in text, and you can send messages through any of these platforms, and hopefully we'll be able to respond. Another Tropical Weather Bulletin coming up tomorrow. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. You can also contact me on Discord. It's fool13 at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for tropical weather chat in our description.